What's trending this morning is a story in the National Post about Sophie Gregoire Trudeau. So they are stating in this report that she's been in a relationship uh, with an, or she is in a relationship now with an Ottawa doctor. So uh, the Trudeaus announced their split back in August, but they gave no explanation for their separation. So the question we're beginning with was, you know, was it wrong to even report this in the first place? And now that, you know, she is no longer married to an elected official, our prime minister, should Sophie be off limits? Well, for, well <laughs> what do we think? First of all, I think I want to talk about who reported it. I kind of found that a little bit interesting because it was in a, um, a breaking story from the National Post. Mm -hmm. They investigated this. And then as of this morning when I was looking around to see who else was picking it up, it was just, I believe, the Western Standard and the Toronto Sun. Those are all kind of considered, you know... Right-leaning? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. right of centre, certainly. And so the CBC's homepage, CTV, uh, BBC, see New York Times, no one was sort of touching this story. And I, there is part of me that thinks that journalists should stay out of the bedroom of politicians and mm -hmm. old school conservatives would agree with me on mm. that. So Wait, you're actually saying school. that Justin Trudeau is not married anymore? No. <laughs> That didn't make CNN and Fox down no, in the States, so no, it's, it didn't no, make the news. Your, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so you I mean, didn't know until you didn't even no. know about the separation. No. <laughs> until wow. today. Until yeah. we told you. It's until breaking news for me <laughs> right now. <laughs> but once you're in the public eye, it doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter if you're standing next to them in a photo and you're not even, you're, you're going to be fair game. Yeah. You're never going to stop that. We're talking about it here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Are we going to stop it? No. No, we're never. And I'm with you. I think she is fair game for several reasons. First of all, she's a public figure. She's an adult, she's a former TV personality, and I don't even know why we're talking about this, because <laughs> remember when the Obamas were in office, right? There was Michelle Obama who was talked about a lot, and I know people at home are going, listen, she's that's an American, politics, the White House, but Canadian outlets, we covered it on a daily yeah. basis. Their daughters, and Mich you, thank their you. daughters. And Michelle was criticized for everything, from her toned arms, hugging the queen, <laughs> fist bumping her husband, not being patriotic enough, and Canadian outlets, we covered it, and she was fair game. So, so why I are don't we know. covering this? And this uh, well, I think it's not as sexy, and I also think <laughs> because in the U.S. they are ruthless and salacious, those media outlets. And I think that's the difference. Also, there's also a cultural thing. She was also the first black first lady. There's all of that to go with it. But why if we did that to Michelle in Canada, why can't Sophie yeah. be fair game? And also, why are we acting as if Sophie's some delicate little flower? I think she can handle herself, mm -hmm. and I think she'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. She has made this decision, her and her husband, to move forward with their lives. And I think we can talk about it as long as we're respectful and remember that they have kids. They do. Yeah, I think that's part. where I wanted to go as well because they do have three young kids. I think my math is 16, 15, and 10, mm -hmm. something like that. And we've actually all seen them grown up. Uh, you know, Justin's been in office. Sorry, the oh, Prime so Minister's been in they office for eight years. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me? Yeah, no, it's true. But I do think, I, I like the comparison with the Americans. But here's the thing. We are talking about it on the show. But as you said, Jess, Practically nobody else is no. picking up the story, which then begs the question, just because she is fair game, does anybody even care? And yeah. I think that mm. we're, there is a marked difference between the way that we approach American politicians and Canadian politicians. For example, does everybody know the name Anthony Weiner? Yeah. Yep. Why? Yeah. Right? Well, and the so he's is interested. I mean, they're going to cover whatever you guys are interested in. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're not that interested in hearing about her, you're not going to hear, hear much about, about it. it. Yeah. There was yeah. even, uh, the New York Times did, in fact, report on this separation mm -hmm. uh, when it was first announced in August. And the, the title of the, the headline that was written in the New York Times was, you know, now that the Trudeaus are separated, does anybody even care? And if you read the article, <gasps> That's, I forgot, nobody cares. cares. Yeah. We don't care. And I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why we don't care, but maybe we are a little bit more polite yes. when it comes to keeping the separation why of church Canadians and state like that way. Why do Canadians like to think they're so polite? I don't know. Do you guys believe that? In <laughs> this case, so sometimes polite. our media is more polite yeah. than the U.S. media. They I will think go media for the just thrill. doesn't cover. Is, I don't think they're. I don't think they dig as hard. Do you think this could be a gender thing as well? Do you think if we were talking about Justin moving on and who he's going to date next? Because remember, when they were married, there he was traveling all over the place, and women were always with their tongue hanging out, you know, yeah. going gaga every time talking he shaved his, his face or no, cut his hair. I, we were talking no, about. I it. see it as dollars and cents. You Americans mean. market every bit of information that's out there because that's how they get eyeballs, mm. and we just put it out there. Like you can't just put it out there; you have to market it in some way for yeah. it to be. So if nobody markets it, it's just mm. going to fall Sit off the fall. table. But but you're right. I think if he does start dating, 
We're gonna be talking about it right here. <laughs> I, I know I will be, that's for Absolutely. sure. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.